Good morning, we're at elementary school. This is Miss Stacy. Today is Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. Hot lunch today is brunch for lunch. Cheese omelet and sausage, biscuit, hash browns, apple slices, and milk. Let's read our school promise together. I promise to go to school, to listen to my teachers, to never give up no matter what, to always do my best, to make good choices for myself, to have fun, to follow the golden rule and treat others the way you would want to be treated. And above all else, to finish school. Now let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Teachers, Fitness February starts today. Also, today starts the kickoff of Black History Month. There will be a special report attached to the news each day in February from our third graders. February is also Counselors Month. I would love you to come find me so we can talk about kindness and how we can promote kindness within our school. February will be celebrating kindness at WES. February 12th, 2022 is PS I Love You Day. There'll be more information to follow. Also, February 22nd, 22, which is second month, 22nd day of 22, also lands on a Tuesday. So that way will be Tuesday, 2222. We're too kind. Kids can wear red or black or spirit gear. Thank you. Have a great day. My name is Muhammad Ali, and I was born on January 17th, 1942. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky. I died on June 3rd due to repertory failure. I was named after my father in my dream of being a boxer all my life. I became a famous boxer. I was the most famous person on the planet, even after I didn't box in the After I retired from boxing, I worked with charities and was an activist. I liked to help many people. My name is Claudette Colvin. I was born September the 5th, 1939. I was born in Montgomery, Alabama, and I am still alive today. I was arrested when I was 15 for not giving up my seat to a white man. As an adult, I worked as a nurse and retired in 2004. I have two kids. I challenged Alabama segregation laws and was an important part of the civil rights movement. 